Today, we're going to work with Google Calendar. First, log into Google, then choose Google Apps and click on Calendar. Now, Google is displaying my calendar for school. Notice it's yellow. Everything that I have for school is in yellow. I can choose to look at a week's view, a daily view, a month's view, five days, or an agenda view. Right now, I would like to look at a month's view. I have several calendars, but right now I'm only using my school calendar. My school calendar shows everything in yellow because that's the color I chose. What I want to do now is add a new event. To add a new event, I click on the word create. After clicking on it, it will give me the information that I need to incorporate into my event. The first thing it asks for is the name of the event. This event is going to be end of year party. Now I choose when it's going to be displayed, when it's going to occur. I click on the date and it'll give me a calendar. My end of year party is going to be in June on June 17th, it's a Friday. So I'll click on that date. The time is going to be one o'clock in the afternoon, 1 p.m. The party is going to end at 2.30. So I go to the time to end and I click on 2.30. I'm gonna check this, it's the end of year party is the name of my event. The date is the 17th of June, 2016. It begins at 1 p.m., which is one o'clock in the afternoon, continues to 2.30 p.m. It's not an all-day event, and it's not going to be repeated. It's a one-time event. The location is going to be the school's cafeteria. I enter that for the location. The calendar I want it to be displayed on is my school calendar, but I could have other choices also. I could put it on my personal calendars or some of my class calendars. I, it was created by me, and you could see that there. I could put a little description. I just put in a description. You could put as much or as little information here as you like. And I can choose a color if I want to for this event. I'm gonna make it a light red or pink. For me, it's gonna show me as busy because I have something to do at that time. That means that I can't do something else. And the visibility is by the calendar default. Once I have all the information that I want in the event, I press save. Now I can go to June on the calendar and I could see that my event is now displayed on June 17th, Friday. If I needed to change something or edit it, I could click on it and choose to edit it. It'll return me to the information and I could change or fix anything that needs to be fixed. Once I'm done, I press save again and I'm finished with entering the event for the calendar.